What is motivating uh, the leadership uh, to decide uh, that now is the time to to sort of reemphasize, accentuate the positive uh, in the relationship? Yeah, well, there's there's several factors, and and first is that you know China's leaders, the same as American leaders, understand that the stakes are really high. We're talking about the two, you know, the world's two superpowers. The you know they're both nuclear armed superpowers, and the U.S. China relationship has really taken a nosedive in the past year and a half, and that is. Dangerous. That is clearly dangerous, and the Chinese side knows that as well. And we saw an interesting admission of this um, from Xi Jinping. In fact, a year ago, when he met with Biden, when he said that you know something to the effect of, "We have not met the world's expectations、mm -hmm. in terms of how we are managing." This important bilateral relationship. This is something that Xi Jinping also recognizes、uh, that the world expects and needs these two countries to, at a very bare minimum, not go to war and get along, and preferably work to work towards some crucial common goals such as combating climate change. But that's not the only thing that's going on. What's also happening is that Xi Jinping realizes that China's economy now is truly slowing. It's not experiencing this the rapid economic growth that China has enjoyed for for decades. That there's been a true slowdown、um, amid you know a real estate crisis and debt crisis, and China needs trade partners. It、uh, needs to have you know more robust. Business and trade ties with with more countries, and that is exacerbated by the efforts spearheaded by the U.S., but now increasingly widely adopted across Europe and、um, democratic partners and allies in Asia of diversifying supply chains and business partners away from China because of the risks that、uh, you know. Investment in China now poses, and you know, let's be clear: those risks have been created by the Chinese Communist Party because of the way that they weaponize ties to their economy. So, you know, Xi Jinping realizes that he needs to do something different than he has been doing for the past four or five years. And what's also in in the kind of in the cards here is that really, the, you know, the U.S. isn't alone in this. The way The Trump administration was in 2018 when they began their pivot to a much tougher China policy. You know, now European nations are absolutely coming along,、um, along with Japan and and other nations, India. You know, so I think that that she recognizes that he can't, you know, continue to allow. Wolf warrior diplomacy and this the same kind of hard edge that he has adopted. Um, in recent years.